Hello YouTube, back again. Um, I'm going in for a hat trick. I think I've scored again. Pow! Let me show you what I found today. Right, but I think I'm having I'm having a problem with one of the games. So yeah, maybe someone can help me out. Charity shops. I went another direction. I went up to a place called Rayleigh and Wickford, and I found some places. I found I found. Final Fantasy 3 for Nintendo DS for £2. And uh, yep, yeah, it's all complete. Got the manual, Wi Fi connection book, whatever that is, and all the other stuff. But with this, the only problem is, yeah, I'll just get a, get a 3DS. Oh, it's loading up. I just turned it on. This is my niece's 3DS. But right, there's no game in it at the moment. Take the game. Put it in. Nothing. It's not reading it. So I'm thinking, fuck's sake, something wrong with it. I, I, I looked at the uh, the cart on the on the little connectors. There's a little little hole in one of the gold strips on the far right. There's like a little hole in one of them. It's it's strange because. I take a uh, a regular a regular DS. This is a DSi, and I put the game in. And it works. I don't know if you can see that. Strange, it works on a DS I, but it doesn't work on a three DS. I don't know. But yeah, on, on onwards and upwards. I've got some more good stuff. I found two PS2 games. I've got Surfing H3O 50p and Harry Potter's Quidditch World Cup Platinum. Complete. Next, I found some PS1 games. NHL Face Off 98 Original price 34 34.99 50p Next Formula 1 2000 50p and Chase the Express which is a complete and it's a double disker and lastly for PS1 Tekken 1 Platinum all nice condition nice and complete the manual looks spanking new looks like it's never been read Now, on to the, onto the, the, the score, what I found today. These two games were a pound each in a, a Havens up in Wickford. I think it was Wickford, Wickford or Rayleigh. There's a Havens, I know that. I found two Xbox 360 games. Blur.
quickly and burnout paradise complete and they're, they look brand new they look spanking so my, my theory is correct they're coming into the charity shops these uh, current gen games because I picked up a stack of uh, PS3 games up in Wickford in a charity shop and they were two two pound each and they were some fucking crackers in here for two pound I've got a game called Haze complete these were two pound I've got Devil May Cry 4 complete Street Fighter 4 complete Prince of Persia Forgotten Sand complete Little Big Planet complete Call of Duty World at War complete Modern Warfare 2 complete and the best of the bunch I'm so fucking hyped that I saw this God of War 3 complete and how I got these for two quid each I went into the charity shop and they were a bust they had nothing on the shelves and I said have you got any games out the back or anything that you haven't put on the shelf yet games like PS2, PS1, anything computer games and they said they're going to have a look and they bring us they bring out a cardboard box full of stuff like PC games and they had, I saw these there's some uh, PSP games but I, just, I wasn't interested in them and then I saw all this big stack of PS3 games and they said they've just got these in yesterday and they haven't obviously haven't been put on the shelf yet because they're out the back so I got first dibs in them and they were two pound each and really if you went into a place like CEX this would have cost me like anywhere from 12 to 15 pound 12 pound 10 pound 8 pound 6 pound maybe 6 pound 6 pound and six pound and I've got them all for two quid each what a bargain so yeah current gen is on the is in the uh, charity shops now so good stuff so yeah that, that's my stuff for today thanks for watching peace see you next time